David Hill, we are um, doing something new here, and um, I'm, so, I'm so happy to be joined by Jason Wilkinson, uh, the Orange High School QB that has been the cornerstone of this program all season long. It's been a long season. It's been a spectacular season for you guys. It didn't end in a spectacular way. I know how you wanted it to end. Um, I want to invite our audience into what is going to be a new series of, of shows that we want to do called Inside the Game. And I'm glad you're here with me, Jason, because we've, we've gone a long ways this year. We've talked about a lot of things. And, and I want to cover a couple things with you, but I want our audience to understand what Inside the Game is all about. And it's a chance for us to kind of sit down, take a breath, uh, we're not after a ball game. Our emotions aren't running wild and that kind of thing. We're thinking through things and, and just having a chance to chat a little bit and give in-depth perspective. And I, I know you've always done that with us. Jason, I'm going to start out with this. Let's just kind of wrap the season up and talk about what, how special this season really was for you as the quarterback and your team, which I know you're very close with your teammates. Talk about what this season's meant to you. Um, for me, it just kind of meant, it meant a lot more than uh, – really any other season I've had because when I got to Orange High School uh, I didn't really know any of the guys and then I got to build with them from like a new start so for me that was uh that was great for me and so just playing the season with these guys just really meant a lot to me personally I felt like they're my second family yeah so I just appreciate the fact that coach let me come in and take the reins on the team so how was it difficult coming in from the outside and, and being accepted? About what point in time did you feel like I, I think I'm I think I'm winning these guys over and we're we're together on this? I wouldn't say it was my junior. I would say it was probably my uh, off season, my junior after my uh, junior season ended. Um, I would say during the off season when all the workouts we were doing and everything, I was always the person to push everybody. So. From there, I, I would say that these guys kind of knew that, like, okay, this is how this guy's going to run the team. I can work with this. So, and that's a terrific feeling because it's not an easy thing to win over a football team coming in from the outside and you know trying to make make your way. But you have, I, I've known you now for a little bit. You have that persona. Okay, it takes a persona to do that. Not just are you making <laughs> plays, but the right persona, the right demeanor, uh, and you've got to have. You got to have that at quarterback at that position. Um, let, let's get into this football game in particular, um, as, as difficult as it is to talk about, a 31-29 disappointing end to the season. The game itself, it seemed to me, as I roamed the sidelines, that, that uh, uh, Stratmore really kind of played out their script. They ran, and they ran again, and they ran again. Um, what did you guys feel, how, how was the ball game taking shape about third quarter, were guys beginning to kind of you know, feel that, that running game and feel like it was going to be difficult to stop them if they didn't get these stops. They didn't stop 33. Well, I would say it was more frustration after, uh, you know, 33 is a great player. Credit to him, but we stopped him a couple times, but then when we stopped him, we got our penalties. So that kind of added in the frustration. So our guys were probably out of it at that time because they were just tired of the penalties, tired of all the unnecessary things that everybody else was doing. So, I mean, I can vouch for that, but. You know, it's not really an excuse when games on the line. You can't let those kind of uh, emotions get to you. Yeah, the emotions have to be under control, no doubt. Now, offensively, you guys were matching up just fine. I'm sure you would have liked one more chance to get the football as it came down to the last couple minutes. It, you needed a couple stops. Did you feel like offensively you wanted that ball back in your hands? Um, yeah, it was, uh, I think there were three drives where I had where I felt, well, obviously I made a mistake on a couple of them. If I uh, would have made a different read or different decision, I felt like there could have been a uh, different outcome of the game. But offensively, we kept up, and uh, yeah, I would say if we had the ball, one more chance, two minutes left in the game, I feel like uh, all my guys would be focused and we'd be able to get the win that a lot of uh, my friends and family know that. Yeah, no doubt. Had. Yeah, no doubt. I, I think everybody saw that. That had you, had you had one more shot at this thing, that would have been a nervous time on the other side yeah. with Strathmore. I'm sure they would have been. Now, now let's talk about you specifically. Is the third thing I want to get into, and I know you want to get something to eat, and you should. I know you're hungry. Um, <laughs> I'm hungry too. Um, I want to talk about you, Jason, your future. We've talked a little bit about this. Um, it is now time to really kind of get it into gear and figure out what's next for Jason Wilkinson. I think you have 
a, a dynamic future ahead of you. You're tremendous P folks. You got to know this guy. His grade point average is outstanding. He's a 3.8 student. Um, uh, carries himself extremely well. Very strong in his leadership. There's a future for you. And he's six. What are you? Six five. Six, si four. six four. Sorry, well, I gave you an extra inch. I don't, <laughs> that, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're going to mess up, I'll give you more than less. So six six four, and 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 just developing as a quarterback. So, but there's there's a place for you, Jason. I know there is. We need to talk about specifically what that future looks like. But for yourself, what do you see for yourself? What kind of school would you like to begin really focusing on in terms of the next level? I know you want to play in college. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking university. Um, obviously, some colleges will want me for a different position, and I'm completely fine with that. For me, I wouldn't say I'm more of a quarterback, but I can play the position. I see myself more as an athlete. I can be used anywhere on the field, you know. If if a coach tells me, hey, I want you to play center, I'm going to look at my coach like he's crazy for a minute. I'm like, all right, I can give you like a second, maybe a second and a half. I might get pancakes a couple times. But, right. you know, if a coach wants me to do something, I'll do it. You know, That's like my fight days right now. I tell people, I've got, I've got 30 seconds, yeah. but i got a bat. And that buys me another 60 seconds. But I'm only good for 30 seconds in a fight. So that, that, you have to fight at center. Yeah. Uh, so just anything for uh, really anything for the team that a coach can really use me as, I'd be more than happy to. You know, as long as I'm able to go to college for free and, you know, study business management, which is what I really want to do, um, you know, I'd just be happy going to college for free and living out the life that I really want to have. Well, you, that life is coming. I'm, I'm quite sure of it. We'll talk a lot more about how that's all going to take shape. You don't even know the half of it just yet, but we are going to talk more specifically about that. I was just waiting for the season to end. It never ended. <laughs> so once it's done now, it's really time to start talking about where you want to be and how you get there. That's an important part of what you have to do. It's going to be an important part of what we do. But for the, for the moment now, we close out the season, 31-29 uh, to 29 defeat. Um, congratulations to Strathmore. They, they got it done. Uh, this team will be back. There's no doubt about it. I'm sure you'll be ready to root them on no matter where you are. Right? Yeah. Okay. You got a lot. There's a lot of good parts to this, and we were happy to be a part of it. We thank you for letting HSPN be a part of your season uh, and want to congratulate you. You are CIF Southern Section champions, and we were there for that, Appreciate and that was a tremendous time. I'm sure you'll remember that for the rest of your life. Yep. Jason Wilkinson. Thank you. Appreciate okay. it. All right, this is a young man that's got a great future. We're happy to have talked to him. Um, we're here at Watson's uh, Corner Drugstore. It's, it's evolved into a number of different things. I've, I've lived in Orange for a long time, known about this place. Great food. I know tomorrow morning we're going to come back and have omelets with them. <laughs> they have them make some of the best omelets around. Uh, uh, support this, this establishment. Uh, it's a fun place to be. They're right off the Orange Circle. The Orange Circle is a famous place. There have been movies made at this establishment and uh, all around the city of Orange. And Orange is, is quite famous, but not quite as famous as this Orange High School football team and what they've done in the year 2017. David Hill with HSPN Sports, Inside the Game with Jason Wilkinson.